Hey, hey developers, welcome back. This is the second video on Vue.js and how to use the Vue test utils. Today, I'm really excited. I'm going to show you guys how you can actually set debugger statements in your code so you can break at certain parts of your tests and you can figure out exactly what they're doing. That's one of the hardest part is when you're writing assertions, when you're using the expect and you're kind of a new developer and you don't really understand like what you should be testing, setting a debug statement and actually having the uh, the everything stop at it, having the browser stop at it and actually be able to figure out like what everything's happening is really important. It's a really nice tool and it's really uh, helpful. So let's go ahead and take a look how to set that up. So if you don't remember, this is the project that we created from last time. We installed Mocha Webpack and in Mocha Webpack, we use the NYC code coverage on it and we're also using Vue test utils and a few other things. So if you don't know uh, what to do at this point, go ahead and look at the first video in our series and that'll explain everything of how to set this up. And later we'll use other testing libraries like Jest, but for now we're gonna keep with Mocha Webpack as our test runner. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, update this. So what we wanna do is open the package.json file and you wanna go all the way to the end put a comma and we're going to create something called inspect. So these are scripts inside our package.json file. We can put anything we want here. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. So let's do that. We're going to go node dash dash inspect dash dash inspect dot uh, dash break. And then we actually have to put the directory of where our Mocha webpack resides inside our node modules folder webpack slash bin slash mocha webpack. And then at this point, we're basically gonna just kind of copy what we have up top here. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna copy, and we're just gonna go ahead and paste it. So you can see this is the exact same command we had at the top. So we're dash, you can see here mocha webpack, dash dash webpack config build base conf require test setup.js. Great. So we have that all set up. We're going to go and save it. And now we want to go into our test case. Remember that all this did last time. Oops, we had a break. That's not right. All we all that we did last time was we just checked to see if our text was correct. So we're going to go ahead and add a debugger statement here. So we're going to put a debugger in here. We're going to save it. And now in the bottom here, we're going to run npm run inspect. And you can see here, it creates a new server at 127.0.01, you know, local host at port 9229. So to get this working, we need to go ahead and open up our Chrome. And by the way, you need to have at least version 8.3.0 of Node.js, or this will not work. So make sure you have a newer version of Node installed. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And so I can show you guys what's happening here. Maybe not that big. Let me make it, let me just change the view. Okay. So I'm gonna open a new, pat, new tab and I'm gonna open up Chrome and then inspect. And so you can, at this point here, you're gonna see our devices and we're going to see the target. So this is the one we just created. So if we press inspect here, it's going to open up a new window. I'll go ahead and bring that up. And it'll bring it up here. Okay. So you can see from this window here, this is a window that popped up and you can see here that there's this button, this blue button here. This is means it's actually right now it's paused. So if we hit play, It'll go ahead and compile it in our webpack here, and it'll try to run the test and it should see the debugger. So great. So you can see here, it saw the debugger in our test and cool things we can do. We can see here, here's a wrapper and inside the wrapper, uh, you can see here, if we go up a little bit, we can see kind of what's inside this, this, uh, wrapper here. You can scroll all the way to the bottom and and see everything inside of it. There's actually some called proto at the bottom. You can't see it here, but you see proto right there. And 
we can even look a little bit closer inside there. So we hit proto, and then we're going to type, um, hit constructor, see the length, arguments. You can see prototype. So yeah, you can see here it is. If you hit proto under again, you see the attributes, classes, destroy, find, find all. So this is kind of how the wrapper works. This is all in the documentation, by the way, of Vue.js utils of what all the different methods and functions are. You can see all the stuff you can do here. So we can also just open up the console and we can kind of just play around with, with it. So you can see here, we know in our source that we were at before that there is a message. So oops, we can go back here, type message. We can see welcome to view app. We can take a look at that wrapper. We can even try to look for things, find all, I don't know, h1. You can see what it find if you do dot text, I'll show you the text in it. So we can kind of look around and just kind of get an idea of like what all this is and how we can debug it. So I think I find this very, very helpful in trying to figure out like what exactly uh, our test case is doing and, and how we can do it. We can even throw our expect in there. So expect message. And if we look at our source, we're doing expect message to be, to be, we can do test. And we're going to error because the, it failed. Um, but yeah, so you can see here, we can do a lot of cool things to try to figure out what will work there. So let me close this window and I'll go ahead and reset this back to something a little smaller. We'll move it. You can see it here. Okay. So let's add one more test case, just to give an example of, we'll delete the bug, debugger there, just to show how things are working. So we can go ahead and inside our hello world, let's just create a toggle. We'll create one more, we have this message here. Let's create a toggle, we'll create it as false. And then we can uh, we can actually access this toggle to check to see what it is. Uh, so one way to do that is inside our hello spec file. I'm just going to copy and paste this, and I, I'm go to test toggle, and we're going to have the same information in here. But now we're going to use the wrapper a little bit differently. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to just do an expect right here. We're going to look at wrapper. And if you do this dot VM, this gets you access to all the Vue.js information, uh, the instance basically. So we can actually look here, do dot VM, and then we can put dot and we can get the toggle that we were just at. So we can do to be false. So let's see if that works. So and by the way, it's capital B. Make sure you do that. Now I can run npm, npm test. Okay, you see we still have 100% code coverage. If we say, so it actually does say one test failed. So we go expect Boolean, but receive undefined. But you can see here, Expect a false to be using object is false. Expect received to be expected. So we did, it did f do one, but it failed the other. So we can take a look at what it's doing here. So the toggle. Oh, we have a weird in the command here. So let's try it again. Okay, if we scroll up, everything tests successfully. We have two passing, one for test hello world and test for toggle. So you can see that we were able to access this toggle here and test it to make sure it's false. Obviously, that's not a great example, but that's what you can do with it. 
Uh, you can also, we could also uh, obviously, um, if we had some kind of method in here, we can also put that in there too if we wanted. So let's let's take a look. So let's go back to hello world. Here's our data object. Let's do methods. And we're going to have it pressed. And that'll return, we'll do toggle equals opposite to toggle. Make sure it's this dot toggle, this dot toggle, this dot toggle. Okay, it's saved. So now inside our test, we can even do this. We can do wrapper dot vm dot pressed. We can then check to see if we press it, it was false, it should turn into true true and let's try it so we're going to clear this npm test code coverage is good see it's still successful to passing as you can see here everything's still passed correctly so we can also do it again if we wanted to we can do we can press it again and then this time it should be false So we'll try it again, npm test, still passes, you can see here two passing. And just to show you that this is working, let's put this to true, see what happens. So npm test, see one test failed now, you see here one failure expected true but received false so definitely failed there all right so that is just a quick example of how we can use package.json and include create an inspect script so we can use the chrome inspector to put debugger statements inside our test cases and also how we can actually access the view instance using the wrapper so next time we'll keep deep diving into this and we might look at some ways to mock some data and how to look at Vuex. Thanks. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. And just to let you know, if you want to get a free first chapter of my book, I put a link below to um, where you can sign up for my mailing list and I'll send you a free chapter of my book and plus some other goodies. Thanks.